<sighs> so this isn't the normal way I usually start videos because uh, I never expected this day to be on this day. <laughs> I thought this day was gonna be maybe on Monday, but today's Friday and I've just got the phone call to say my new Volvo is ready to be collected. <sighs> I'm like, I'm like a child at Christmas. I can't contain my excitement. I'm in uh, one of the grey uh, Renault Premiums that we have. Um, for the past week, I've actually been hopping between trucks because we started a new driver and he's driving the CF. So if you see the CF on the road, uh, there's a man driving. I can't remember his name, but he's a very nice, nice chap. But he's driving the Ridge or that lorry for us now. And uh, I've just been cab swapping for the past week. And uh, today's the last day I'm going to be cab swapping with Lux Things because... Oh, I'm going over to Irish Commercials and Santry to pick up my brand spanking new Volvo FH and uh, as you can tell I'm very very excited this day has been coming for six years seven years now I've been waiting to get a brand new truck and um, yeah it's uh, it's really really special and I can't wait to show you so that's what we're doing today um, I'm getting loaded here first and I'm going back across to drop this truck and trailer in a different yard and then get my car and park it somewhere else and then going to pick up the truck. Oh, it's very exciting. Oh, it's very exciting. Contain me excited. Contain me excited. This has been a long time coming. A long time coming. I actually ordered this truck in early August 2021. And uh, it landed in Dublin Port on my birthday, the 25th of January. And we thought it would have been ready maybe the first week in February. It's a bit delayed, to be honest. Um, not, nothing Irish commercials could do. It was all customs that was the problem. So it was delayed for about a week or two. Then the lads got it in, and then they had to deal with a few bits and pieces to it to get it the way I wanted it. And today is ready. And I didn't think it was going to be ready today, to be honest. In fairness to uh, Irish commercials, I've probably said this a couple of times in this video, but in fairness to Irish commercials, the customer service has been absolutely unbelievable. Like the best, probably one of the best customer services I've ever dealt with in my life and uh, the salesman Roy very very nice man I'll leave his details below if you're looking to buy a Volvo and he's a very nice man and uh, not not one word of a lie the whole way through told me the truth every single time and uh, he literally said to me in July you're going to see that lorry for the first time in the first week in February and literally the 2nd of February it rocked into Irish commercials so yeah good news good news anyway we'll do a few bits first and then we'll go get the lorry and uh I have something to drop in this video as well so let's get this trailer loaded and get it parked we're literally just over here uh daft trucks ireland on the nice road picking uh my old man's xf up if you're looking for a daft come here ask for john mccann very nice chap and um, we're just here looking around collecting uh his new his well not his new one his old one we're doing deal or drop boy visits but it looks things tonight tell you one thing my old lad right <laughs> when you're in a hurry to go somewhere and get something done he takes the longest back roads he takes the longest time to go and get it and even going in here i was like i'm going in to get the keys right because you will be in there all day talking to the people inside <laughs> i went in got the keys two minutes came out with coffees and everything and uh i was just going over into the lorry there and we get going we're here about five minutes waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's well known in our universe for taking his time so i suppose he's probably right but we're in a hurry to get somewhere come on it's friday evening oh, good coffee over at that probably by the way now after this here he is now about 45 minutes later he's taking two taco breaks stop for coffee <laughs> On we go. I watched that from there yesterday. You would not want to be going anywhere in a hurry on a Friday, I tell you, around Dublin. Especially this road. Anyone knows where I am right now knows this road is a disaster at the best of times. Doesn't matter what time of the day it is, just any time. It's just like this.
everyone just can see this, but David Brown is actually just picking up his new one as well. So I'm going out there in a few minutes, but while my dad's in there on the phone, I'm going to talk you through what we've got going on here. So she's an XL cab, 540, Volvo top bar, four spots, air horns, uh, beacons are still yet to be put on it, but I'll get that done off another guy. Uh, full air suspension all around, she's on air in the front, uh, air in the mid and air in the back. On the back you've got your two fire boxes, your two top lights, light down here, just a fixed fifth wheel. Everyone says oh, you could get uh, you know, the movable fifth wheel, but I never used a fit, movable fifth wheel in the six or seven years I've been driving already, so I never got one. That's the Redger, 221MH1418. You've got your back lights down here, aluminium air tanks. Uh, blue tanks, twin tanks on both sides. She's Volvo factory side skirts, factory colour coded, uh, and college aura brights. Had to be done. Uh, two fire boxes up the back right there for your ADR spec. I haven't put the plate on the front of her because uh, I don't want to drill into it. And you've got your step lights there as well. Handy for dark yards in the morning when you're doing the steel and stuff. Then you've got your aero kit, so you see that there under the door. That there, that's your aero kit. And it goes along the sides here. It's, that's a, uh, you have to factory order them. Volvo grills on the front of her. And uh, on the inside, she is top spec. She's the full leather, uh, air heated and vented seats. You've got microwave, coffee maker. I'll show you inside in a minute, but my dad's just on a call. She looks really well packed inside the daft, doesn't it? It's mad, like, cause that, Volvo, I spec that in the, I think it's called ice white, so it's not the normal conventional white of a Volvo, that's actually the brighter white, and <laughs> the ice white in the dust still makes it look cream, but uh, when you see it on its own, it looks really, really white, so, ah, oh, lads, I am absolutely over the moon with this, like, you have no idea how long I've been waiting to pick this up, no idea, I ordered this, as I said, in July, and I'm waiting for now, and, oh, God, what a machine, to be honest with you, I never even thought I'd even see the day that I'd get one, you know, ah, oh, well, you work hard, Prove your words to people and you'll get what you're entitled to, you know what I mean? So, that's her. Out of the box. And before anyone stupid starts saying, why didn't you get a tag? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? That's what I wanted. If I wanted a, if I wanted a tag, would have got a tag. But I like the 6x2. I love the ride of it. You can take a 6x2 anywhere. They're just, ah, oh, they're just a great joke. Oh, man, I'm so happy with this. So happy. And, uh, it's lovely catwalk and... Lovely clean diesel tanks. I might get this filled in, I'd say, but uh, they were telling me if you fill this in, so there's your air dryer and stuff there, so I'll block that. And if you ever just drop something on it, it's like it doesn't have enough clearance for the air dryer filter there, so I don't know. I'll see what I'll do about that. And because I got side skirts, the diesel tank on that side is actually a tiny bit smaller than the demo, but it doesn't really matter anyway because it'll still carry over 600 litres, so she'll still do a full week near enough with 600 litres in it, hopefully. Oh, what a machine. Some fella going around in a scooter. There's two brand new buses over there, look. So, yeah, God, I've been waiting for this day for a long time. So, uh, yeah, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know where to go with this video. <laughs> it's just, there you go. Um, oh, I'm absolutely delighted with it, lads. Absolutely delighted. I cannot wait to put this under a trailer and go off to Europe. And that's that's basically what it's going to be doing. Uh, it's gonna, I'm going to be doing a lot of Europe, a bit of the UK. A lot of Ireland mainly, but uh, I plan on doing a load of trips in this. That's why I got the XL cab and I got it the way it is on air all around because I want to do big trips on it. And I just want to take it out and feck off in it for a couple of weeks. Oh, now a lot of you are probably thinking like, why didn't you colour code some bits? Why didn't you maybe paint the grill silver? Because I tell you why that is right. When this lorry actually came in off the boat, I had no idea what way it was going to look, to be honest. We spec'd it and I spec'd it the way I wanted it to, to be. And I actually had, like, even the salesman had no idea what way it was going to come. We didn't know if it was going to come with, like, an all grey grill or it was going to be painted white because they changed the paint packages on the new FH slightly so you can't spec the way you want it, you know what I mean? So uh, I was when it came in, I was the idea was I was going to paint the grill uh, silver and I thought this bit up here would have been painted, but just because the way it came, I just thought, you know what, like, look how well it matches in and it matches in real well with our tag 580 as well and just everything else we have just matches really well and uh i didn't think i was going to like the white grill but i actually really do like it it's it's the way it's supposed to be it's the way it came from factory like even the fog lights there they're not painted around there but it's like they're not meant to be because you know you can see the line where it joins the door fin like so it's just ah, oh, and it's just the way i want it like everyone would probably say oh, why didn't you do this and why didn't you do that it's just because 
that's our spec, you know what I mean? Like, look at the Daff and it beside each other, like they're but near, like they're identical spec. You now we bought them from brand new, like, and uh, yeah, it's just the way we like it. Now that is badly in need of some size guards, but we'll we'll get to that another another day. But uh, yeah, what a machine! See that power man over there? I wrecked his life for about six months. <laughs> That's right. Just a fine job. Look at that. There's... Ah, stop. Plain and simple. Can't be plain and simple. As uh, this is maybe new Spang new Volvo jacket. So lads, thanks very much for watching the video, and uh, it's been a long time coming. I'll give you another tour around the uh, truck probably next week when I'm fitting all the stuff to it. But uh, thanks for watching, and this has been a long time coming. Thanks for the support, and I'll see you all again next week. Good luck, lads. Thanks a million to Irish Commercials for facilitating us. They really, really looked after us now, in fairness. And uh, yeah, everything's gone really well, so everything's brilliant. Everything's got all good. What have we doing, Volvo? Oh, Jesus, what off? We're out in the country now. Anyway, lads, see you. Good luck.